Hello and welcome everyone. Smallman here from the smallman.com. I'm going to show you how to move data in a range, select specific columns and move those to another place. Yeah, so we're going to select the orange columns and we're going to move this deer. We're going to move it like lightning. Okay, so we'll go into Excel VBA and we'll push data into an array and then we'll do some magic. Okay, let's go. So Alt F11 to go into the back end and then we'll create our sub procedure. Yeah, so we'll say sub and then we'll just call it move data. Yeah, so we're going to move data. Now we're going to move, we're going to need a couple of arrays. So the first one to port, put the entire range in, I'll just make it a little larger. So we'll dim AR as a variant and we'll dim VAR as a variant. Yeah, now VAR is going to be the one, the variant that we put just the orange columns in. Yeah, so I'm going to put columns 2, 7, 11 and 12 into that particular area and we're going to output them into the output sheet. All right, let's go back into the back end. Let's start to weaponize this code. So I want a variable for my last row. So I'll dim LR as a long integer. And then I'm going to set, get my last row to be equal to square bracket A10, typo 1048576. All right, that's trap the last row dot and XL up dot row. Okay, all right, so that's trapped my last row, all right? Now, what I need to do from here is I need to set the array equal to what's in our range, and the range might change. So we say AR is equal to our array, or the range, so we'll say A1, and then we'll say dot current region. That's how to get data into an array very, very quickly, as long as the data is tabular, yeah, current region. All right, good stuff. So that's pulled the data into from our current region, which is, let's press Alt F11. This is our current region. Control Shift 8, boom. That entire range, yeah? Now, what we want to do, Alt F11, is we now want to push the data from this array into this array. Yeah, so this is how we do it very, very efficiently. Yeah, this will happen like lightning. So we say VAR is equal to, and I'm going to I'm going to invoke an index. So I say application dot index, and then I open a bracket. And the index, so the range part of the index is the AR. Yeah, that's the first part of the equation. Yeah, and then it's rows rows dot columns. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a very large range. So I'm going to go square bracket, uh, row, open bracket, and it's one to, I'm just going to say a thousand in this case. You could say 10,000 or 100,000. It doesn't affect the speed of the code. Yeah. So we close our bracket and then close our square bracket, and that's going to be our range reference. Just a very large range of rows. Yeah. And then our columns are going to be, we just output our columns. So we'll say there are an array of columns and they're going to be equal to column two, column seven, column 12 and column 13. Yeah. All right. So we close our bracket and then close our bracket for the uh, formula. Now, when we press enter, we should get capitalization here and here. So everything to this point is all tickety boo. So it's all looking very, very nice. Yeah. So our final line is to actually output the data. Yeah. So we look over, we find out what the worksheet code name is. It's sheet three. So we say sheet three, and then we'll range, we'll output the range to range. And then we'll open a bracket and we'll say A1, 2, now it's a four column range, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it goes from A1 to D and then close your bracket and this is where our variable for our last row comes into play. Ampersand, last row, yeah? All right, good stuff. So of that 
particular uh, array here, all we are asking for is the amount of rows that are actually in the current variable. Actually, I could say LR there. Actually, now, now I'm looking at it. I could get away with not having the variable at all. I could actually just trap the top or the bottom part of the array. So I could say U bound AR. Yeah? Either or, doesn't matter. Yeah? This both will work. So the uh, what we want to do is say that is equal to, and then just the variable, yeah, it's VAR. All right, so that should basically just get the four columns that we choose in here into our output sheet, yeah. All right, okay. So let's go into let's go into. Uh, I'll, I'll minimise the screen. So it's minimised. So what we might do is we'll we'll run through the code. So we'll press F8. So we started the procedure. We've got our two variables. They're not equal to anything yet, but our AR is now equal to everything in our current region. So it goes from 1 to 25, yeah? And that's just filled with the columns in our array. But we're asking for specific columns out of our array, our AR array, and we want them pushed into our VAR array, yeah? And this is where the magic happens. This is the primary executable line, yeah? So we'll have a look at our VAR. Now it's gonna be a uh, thousand in length and it's gonna be four columns wide. So we press F8 and we have a look at VAR. Now it goes all the way down. Look, it just keeps going and going and going. You see the numbers incrementing? It'll go all the way down to 1000 at the bottom, yeah? And uh, there we go, down to the bottom. Just make this, there we go, there's our thousand, yeah? Sorry, what it wasn't getting because the screen wasn't going to the very bottom. All right, so that's, that's the data, and now we're asking to output the data onto the output sheet. But let's have a look. We said, okay, well, we want thousand to be filled. If I just pick one, say 33, it says error, 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 error but it doesn't matter because I'm only outputting the data from rows one to 25. So look at, at variable 25, there's data in there, but what do you think will happen when I go to 26? There's nothing in there because I've actually said, um, well, I, the output is going to be from row one to row 25, yeah? And saying that there's gonna be an error, but there won't be, yeah? So let's go, let's minimize the screen. Let's minimize this, yeah? And we'll have a look at the output page. There's nothing there. And then we'll go back into the VBA window. And then we'll press F8. Now it's still not finished. In the output page, there's our data set. One, two, three, four columns, rows 2, 7, 12, and 13. Yeah? It's pushed the data in based on the length of the range. Yeah? Now, now I said a bit earlier, I could actually make this shorter. So basically, let's try and do that. So let's clear this range. Let's clear that range. So it's cleared. We'll go back into the dynamic sheet. Now, you'll notice I haven't made the code flexible. It actually would run from this specific sheet, yeah? I've taken a couple of shortcuts. Now, let's take this out, yeah? So, we know that the last row is not required because we can use, in, in here, <laughs> we can use the upper bound, U bound, AR, yeah? We can use the length of this array to inform what outputs onto sheet three. Code gets even shorter. We're not losing anything. This is dynamic. This is fantastic. All right, let's 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 have a look. No data in there. Let's run the procedure. I'll just put a breakpoint right at the bottom. We'll click run. Click on the output sheet. Boom! The data flies right into where we need it to, to go very, very efficiently, super, super quick. And as I said, like just roll this dice to be really nice and flexible. There's 10,000 rows, there's 100,000 rows. I mean, you've got to 1048576, but just create a large range in there, yeah? And then it will 
it will it will create a large array. It'll create a large array in the VAR, but that doesn't it won't affect the speed because you're not using the the um, the ranges below row 25 or however big your data set is. You've just got to make sure that this part is larger than your data set could ever be. And don't worry about the speed. It just won't affect it. It will run like utter lightning. So there you go. That's how you push data from uh, one array into another and then output it into Excel. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody.